Let's have a look at how to use a message system in, in Moodle. Uh, usually on the front of the course, on the side of the course, there'll be a block with messages. And let's say I want, there's no messages waiting for me. If there were, there would be a name displayed, and I'll show you in a minute. And let's say I want to send a message to one of my um, colleagues. As the window pops up, um, I can see what contacts are online, offline. And let's say I want to search for a guy called Kim. There's a Kim Bebington, and I'll send him a message waiting for one because I told him so. Hi Kim, what are you up to? You can do a simple emoticons as well. Uh, kids are very good at and, and Kim will now get a message. Okay, close the window. And while I've gone and made myself a cup of coffee, the, um, Kim responded to my message. So let's have a look. I can either click it on here or I can click it in the messages button by clicking simply on the little envelope here. So let's let's do this one. So his reply was uh, just checking the messages from student. I can also block the contact which is very very useful in case of uh, kids being abused by someone and I can also have a look at message history between um, myself and Kim. This can easily be printed out as well. This is particularly useful for admins in case of any bullying. Um, and I would warmly recommend talking to your Moodle admin about um, when to enable, when to disable the messaging system and how it is to be monitored. It, it does require a certain maturity of students not to abuse it. Once I answer the message and perhaps refresh the screen, I would say that there are no other messages waiting for me. That's, uh, let's imagine this is our next login. And that's it.